Hello and welcome to my channel. Let me start this video by sharing how I engrave rings on the Xtool F1 without rotary. And the answer is blue tag. And honestly, blue tag has been my best friend since I started engraving things on the F1. So when you engrave the ring band on the top, it's quite straightforward as long as the frame while framing doesn't exceed the ring band and shows nicely, your image or text should engrave well. I used a piece of paper to see the frame better since the surface was very reflective but you could also use a black whiteboard marker and then just wipe it off before engraving. That's what I did in my previous video on the Xtool F1 which you can watch after this one. When you want to engrave the inside of the ring band, it's possible, but don't go for any long images or text, because since the ring needs to be tilted to the side to accommodate the laser beams, it just wouldn't work. Longer text will simply be engraved straight on a curved surface. So go for shorter designs and also experiment. And as you have probably noticed, I had the lid on the machine open because I wanted to show you the engraving process in more detail. But I did wear my new protective glasses that I bought from Amazon. These are certified and should protect your eyes from blue laser beams and also the infrared laser. I went for this design and they fit me perfectly. I will leave a link below in the description box as well as links for the amazing Xtool F1 machine. And now the exciting bit. Let's engrave real gold. This is a ring that my son has found. It's a 9 carat gold and I will attempt to engrave this thin ring band. Again using my bestie the blue duck and a piece of paper for framing. And I think the machine engraved the ring so well. Perhaps I could reduce the power next time but I like the engraving to be quite dark. Next is my old earring. This is 14 karat gold, marked 585. So let's give this one a go. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to engrave another piece of jewelry. This one I made ages ago out of silver clay, so this is pure silver marked 999. And I'm engraving a dream catcher on the back. The result is good but rather dark so I'm going to give it a few wipes with my sunshine polishing cloth and voila gorgeous. Next is a ring I made with cubic zirconia and amazonite stones. The ring band is sterling silver, so 925. I was pretty proud of myself when I made it, even though it's not perfect. And I wanted a reminder that if you really want to achieve something, you absolutely can. And so I engraved my favorite saying, anything is possible. And the engraving was really nice too. The next metal I tried to engrave was copper, but it was taking so long to engrave and I was in a rush at this point. So after 15 minutes of engraving this simple design, I stopped the machine and tried some other settings. I have to say the first one was by far the best, deepest and darkest, but I could probably get away with the lighter engraving too. So I guess copper is a bit of a pain here. Doable, but it takes a long time to engrave. I had a lady asking in the comments under my previous F1 video if it's possible to engrave simple logo on an 8mm stainless steel bead. So I thought, let's try it. This is a 5mm brass bead and I found a simple turtle image. I know it's hard to see the design because of the shiny and round surface, but it worked. Mm -hmm. 
and I decided to engrave the back with a dollar sign. I also try to engrave my keys, which are brass. By the way, this key is not from the back gate, so if you happen to find my keys, don't waste your time. Just saying! And this key is not to unlock purple. Next time I'll engrave my keys with something more clever like Matrix or Bank or Your Heart. Anyways, let me show you some Christmas gift ideas now, like this toothpick for example. Because who wouldn't want a personalized toothpick for Christmas? I think it's a splendid idea and I would love to receive it as a gift. How cool is this? You can even engrave toothpicks! Let's start a toothpick engraving business! And for the first time ever I'm cutting and engraving acrylic. This is the 3mm black acrylic from Xtool and both cut and also engraving was great. Next time I'll leave the protective tape over it and see if the cut is any neater. But overall it worked well and now I'm gonna make them into some earrings. I also had lots of these bare brass ring blanks and I made one of them into a ring. The engraving was dark and pretty neat. I had more ring blanks, these are stainless steel and a lot thicker, but they engrave really nicely. You just can't easily make them into rings. I have damaged my pliers doing so and I will never do it again. But you can use these blanks on a notebook for example. Just stick it on with some glue and make a personalized notebook. I had this promotional pen that was just asking to be engraved. The metal looked like aluminium and so I used my settings for aluminium. Also, this pen is a reminder for you to call someone that is waiting for your call. You are welcome. Next we have a pencil, again stuck with some blue tack. And I'm going to tell you now, the engraving worked great, but the smell, ugh. Next time I'll go for a natural pencil, not coated with color, because that was stinky and probably not healthy for my lungs. I am so glad I have the x smoke purifier connected to my F1. Very helpful indeed. Now a keychain is always a good gift, especially if it's personalized. I used hardwood settings in creative space and the result was very good. So I decided to engrave the other side too. And I mean what I engrave, follow your dreams and reach for the stars. Anything is possible. What else did I engrave? Pick me, pick me, subscribe, bye!